Hello everybody and welcome again. We are ready to proceed with that. Um, I connected my G5 to the capture card this time because I don't want anything to interfere with the performance. So let's first check if everything is okay. We go to the Apple menu, then we go to about this Mac, and you're gonna see there it's my G5, eight gigs of RAM, the machine that you, you've heard about for many years by now. Let's check PCI. We should see my two adapters here. When the mouse moves slowly, I speak slowly, sorry about it. You see the two cards were detected, I, AHCI controllers are there, so we should be fine. Excellent. So let's quit that. And let's run a quick bench, X bench actually, against the current setup with the SATA 2 SSDs that are connected to the SATA 1 bus of the G5. And let's see how it performs. Since I'm connected to the external capture card, I should not have any decrease in performance caused uh, by video encoding for VLC, for example. And before that, let's just switch the G5 from the automatic power profile to the high performance one, so we don't waste a single what ounce horsepower of energy power. So we put it here on our highest. We quit this, and we start. The quadro fares really well in the quads tests, as expected. No big problems there. OpenGL goes well too. That's a disk, that's what matters. So 240 megabytes per second is much more that, than you would get with any hard drive from the era. And that already makes the synthesis very responsive. There will not be much difference in usability uh, for a machine from that era if you would get anything any faster. All right, we can quit that and let's partition the disks. So we open disk utility now and let's take all the drives and throw them into a RAID 0 array. And since I have uh, two sources of backup, a directly attached hard drive and my NAS, and also restoring the system is very quick, it takes half hour. So I'm gonna run in production for a few months in a full RAID 0 setup and let's see how the system is going to behave. We're just throwing all the disks here. I am sorry, I cannot move this properly. It's horrible with the delay. So third disk. fourth disk. I'm going to be dealing more with uh, media files, big photos and videos, so I can go for a larger block size. So I'm going to go for 128k. Let's do OK. Actually, no, I'll go for 64. You never know. Temperance and the middle term is always a good way to go. So 64K block size, do OK. Click Create. We wait.
the partitions are coming online. Volume ID has been created. File system is created. I don't want to use it as backup disk. We quit this. I can call this volume perhaps PCIe RAID. And now we can run Xbench again and let's see. We choose the correct volume now. We do start. The first tests are the same. They should not score very differently. I bet you've never seen this kind of performance, storage performance in IG5 ever besides my own videos, yeah? Linux is still faster. I get 200 megs more read performance as you saw in my previous videos, but this is really more than enough. It's surely the fastest performing G5 in the planet, unless someone was crazy enough to throw in six or eight SSDs there. You could in theory have the two onboard ones and six PCIe attached ones and have a lesser video card. I don't think anyone's gonna do that. Maybe I'll be crazy in a few years and do it, but for now, that is really the fastest G5 ever in terms of storage performance. During the next videos, I'm gonna show how to prepare the file system for the application so they will leverage the PCIe. We're gonna have to create some uh, symbolic links to have the applications uh, installing libraries in the PCIe RAID because Apple is very restrictive in, in the sense of, you know, you don't really get to choose where things go. They always go to the applications folder and libraries go to libraries. So for example, if you're working with logic, you're gonna end up having a bunch of sample files in your system folder and that's what we do not want here. I'll keep you posted. Next video is going to be the final one in this series, or maybe two more. One preparing uh, the file system and the next one reviewing the performance. And afterwards, I should already have the parts to continue the 4K experiment. Thank you for watching.